Your Honor, if I may, uh, respectfully. Please administer the oath first. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this inquiry, Your Honor? I do. The oath has been administered for the resource persons, Ms. Rabago, Mr. Tenido, Attorney Sanchez, and Ms. Villa de Rey. However, Attorney Emily Torrentira refuses to take her oath, Your Honors. On November 8th, the, the person who refused um, to receive the subpoenas for Attorney Zulaika and Attorney Fajarda per the report of the Legislative Service Bureau. It was a uh, certain Attorney Emily Torrentina from the Legislative Affairs Division of Ayun, the OVC. Mr. Chairman, can we uh, invite that person as well and for us to find out why she re Babae ba siya? Oh, ma'am, andito po pala kayo. Why did you refuse to uh, accept the... Uh, no? Your Honor, oath has not been administered. Thank okay. you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Chairman, can we uh, administer the oath of those uh, first time that uh, attended this uh, hearing? Mr. Chair, Ipaut na natin sila lahat. Uh, Komsek, pwede po ba pakiout na lahat sabay-sabay? Thank you, Your Honors. To all the resource persons, including Attorney Lee Emily, Attorney Emily Torrentira, please stand up, including Attorney Emily Torrentira. But uh, since you are willing to testify, Your Honor, and uh, give your statements, Your Honor, it was requested that she will be giving her oath as well, Your Honor. Your Honor, if I may, uh, respectfully. Please administer the oath first. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this inquiry, Your Honor? I do. The oath has been administered for the resource persons, Ms. Rabago, Mr. Tenido, Attorney Sanchez, and Ms. Villa de Rey. However, Attorney Emily Torrentira refuses to take her oath, Your Honors. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I'm just wondering why uh, Attorney, what's the name of that, uh, per, that person? Attorney... Emily, uh, Emily, Emily Torrentira, Torrentira your Honor. Raise, uh, her hand for the oath taking. Uh, can we ask her why she refuses to uh, um, to take her oath? May I, your, uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, you you can honors. all sit down, ma'am. Thank you. Why do you take the oath? No, Your Honor, I am not refusing to take the oath. No, Your Honor, I am not refusing to take the oath. Prior to being asked, to take the oath, I was trying to explain, Your Honor, that I am not an invited resource person. Second, that uh, I have only been asked now to explain um, why uh, there was no receipt for subpoena for the persons who are not present here. Um, that is what I am trying to say, Your Honors, respectfully. I just wanted to explain that as uh, part of the uh, Legal Affairs Division of the office, um, I wanted to explain why we did not uh, receive. Um, in accordance with the rules governing inquiries in aid of legislation, wherein the rules of court supplementarily applies, Rule 14 in relation to Rule 21 of the rules of court, Your Honors, personal service must be made to uh, resource persons uh, who are being issued subpoena. Um, with that, Your Honor, uh, they being not present in the office at that time, no person um, can receive on their behalf, and the, her, hence, uh, there will be no proper service. Respectfully, Your Honors. Well, uh, we, uh, we, know that we know we accept that, um, that guidelines no? that um, you mentioned a while ago. But uh, you all know that this is an, uh, an, aid, of, an aid of legislation. And... Um, the reason why uh, we are trying to course this invitation to the office of the president, uh, we discussed this lengthy already. And the uh, testimony of um, attorney uh, Lopez is so important to us. And also, uh, si Pajarda. And um, I think, Mr. Chairman, 
with this kind of uh, explanation that being uh, manifested by uh, Attorney Tolentino, uh, Tolentino, as much as we uh, accept that uh, the premise of her, but somehow we are all guided with moral uh, decency, no? That somehow, Senator naman, Man, umatend naman po sa sila dito, kahit na sabihin po natin that uh, yung apo. Uh, ito po yung sinasabi ng uh, inyong, uh, inyong uh, uh, minention a while ago. But I think uh, somehow, sa akin, personally, that, that is not accepted. And um, isang tanong lang, attorney. Have somebody told you not to accept all those uh, invitations? No, Your Honor. It was a... Um, so it's, it is in accordance with the rules, Your so Honor. So it's your own... Uh, attorney. Uh, we will we will uh, recognize you later because uh, hindi po kayo nag-take ng oath. Okay na po. Mr. Man, you have already okay. said your piece. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Your Honor. Congressman Patuano, you recognize. May I ask the good attorney, what is your role in this? Uh, you are not invited, but you are present at today's hearing, and you never take your role. As Why? What uh, is your presence? Um, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honor, I am the Chief of Legal Affairs of the o Office of the Vice President. So? I am here to uh, represent the institution, Your Honor. Uh, so you are here to represent the institution. You, you should, before talking, you should take your oath. Because that is on record. You're a lawyer. You know that. You cannot speak unless until you take your oath. That's the rule, internal rules of this House and this committee. You cannot speak unless you take your oath, or else I will move to excuse you in this room. Your Honor, if I may, um, Mr. Chair. Um, point of order, Mr. Chair. Mr. What, is Chair the, what is your point of order? Yeah, um, I take the position of Congressman Paduano. Um, I really don't know why she's here. Uh, has she forwarded any explanation written as to her attendance? In the, Mr. Um, Chairman, Mr. No, Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, a while ago he, she was trying to tell us that she is the representative of the uh, Office of the Price, Vice President. And if you are the representative of the Vice President, you have this reason to take your oath as well. No, but, yeah, but other than that, Mr. Chair, before we can even proceed to um, asking her to take her oath, does she, has she communicated officially to the committee that she is indeed representing the office of the vice president? Is there any letter that, whereby attorney Tolentino is given authority to represent the office of the vice president, Comsec? None, Your Honor. Did you submit your authority? If I may, Your Honor, respectfully. Yes, please. Um, Mr. Chair, can we just call for a five-minute suspension? Kausapin muna natin kung ano ba talaga kasi... kasi five-minute suspension is declared by the Chair. Mr. Chairman. Committee hearing resumes. Congressman Paduano. Thank you, Chairman. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, first and foremost, since uh, the good lawyer has no written authority coming from the Vice President, second he, is that uh, she never take her oath. So, Mr. Chairman, first I move that we strike out all, on record, all the statement being made by the good attorney. Seconded. Second. There's and a motion raised by Congressman Paduano, Julie seconded. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the motion's carried. And second, Mr. Chairman, I move that we excuse the good lady attorney in this room and to uh, request the SAA to escort uh, the good attorney outside of this room. So move, Mr. Chairman. Seconded. Second. There's a motion to excuse the good attorney from this room, which is duly seconded. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the motion is carried. Mr. Chair, if I may respectfully request... You are not... Uh, you're out of order. You're not regular. 
suspend ko na lang. Your Honor. One minute suspension. Paki-excuse na lang po yung paki-excuse na lang po muna yung ating uh, bugado. Paki-excuse na lang po yung paki-excuse na lang po muna yung ating uh, Committee hearing resumes. Mr. Chairman. Congressman uh, J.J. Suarez, you're recognized. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chair, gusto ko lang po ilagay sa tamang uh, perspective yung uh, dahilan kung bakit po um, pina-excuse po natin yung isang individual na dumalo sa ating hearing. Uh, baka po kasi magkaroon ng misunderstanding why she was excused uh, from our hearing. Number one, uh, she was not invited to attend today's hearing. Uh, number two, uh, she did not uh, uh, take her oath. Uh, so we don't even know the personalities and the circumstances to why she is here. And no communication was forwarded to the committee as to her attendance. Uh, for all we know, she can be somebody posing for somebody, and the committee cannot act on mere presentation without proper uh, representation to um, the said committee, Mr. Chair. So, para lang po maunawaan ng lahat kung bakit po uh, natin pinakiusapan na ma-excuse yung uh, isang individual na nagpakilala na attorney Tolentino. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe to Kila Penis Bolita now. Until the next video.